Despite a fierce competition over the years from rock and roll, disco and rap, ballroom dancing continues to survive. And although the music may not have changed much, the fashions have. Presentation is a major consideration of the judges when they award their marks and competitors can spend over a thousand pounds on an outfit. There aren't many companies in Britain which specialise in designing ballroom gowns. Chris Ann, a London-based company established in 1986, is just one of the few. The main object is it has to be comfortable and every girl has to feel terrific in it. She must always feel that she's the most beautiful girl in, out on the floor there. I think that's one of the main objects. I myself particularly like to look through sort of Vogue magazines and things that are actually in fashion today. Um, anything that's new that's come in, we try to sort of work around it and um, have a very sort of fashionable image. I've got girls coming to me now for, for years, so I know they are their wishes and I know what I want to see them in, uh, which makes quite nice because when I go to f material fairs, um, I'll see new material and I know exactly which girl I'm going to put into it. I'm always in black, try to look masculine and gear it towards what Beverly's dress is going to look like so we complement the picture more than me. I'll actually be wearing a leopard skin number for the actual afternoon rounds. Um, very, very simple. Um, just something a little bit different. And then obviously for the evening I'm going to change to a more sort of cocktail style dress, which is, uh, I think, is very appropriate, very classy as well. So it should be very exciting. I think every woman knows that if she looks good, she feels good. This is a very glamorous competition, so the girls all obviously just want to look very glamorous, and if they walk out onto that floor looking a million dollars, that's bound to put an edge on their performance. Do ballroom gown styles really change over the years? Oh, yes, in the last 10, 15 years, they've gone from the big pom-pom you probably remember seeing on television to the beautiful Ginger Rogers style elegant dresses with the feathers at the bottom, and quite extravagant, really, now. Well, this is the dress that I had for the last major competition that we danced. Um, and white is a very good colour for that. So this is a, a net skirt, and it's got all pastel colours on here. But the highlight of this dress is the um, flowers that uh, were handmade. And pick out the colours in the skirt. And the same with the feather drape at the back, which is draped off a necklace. And this is a special material fabric for the bodice. So what are you preparing for Karen, or is it a secret? Well, it is, but um, we've got a beautiful, special new colour feather uh, called a mint green. And then we couldn't get any fabrics to match it, so we had to start off with everything white. And then we dyed it. And people said we couldn't dye polyesters, but we found our own way to dye that. And my husband's got a beautiful new white lace material from Paris, a special lace, very expensive, but it's going to be very special. What do you think? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Fabulous, yeah. Really pleased with that. Look your best. 